For this scene I recorded three shots. For the first shot I filmed me acting in front of a green screen. I had the small monitor in front of me where I could see the final composition. That made acting very easy to do. For the background I was using Unreal Engine. I used composure to get rid of the green while I was shooting. For the camera movement I used a motorized slider. And for camera tracking I used a sensor on top of my camera. The tracking data was sent together with the camera footage to Unreal Engine. For the next shot I just turned to the right in front of my green screen. And for the background I just repositioned the camera inside Unreal Engine. For the third shot I did exactly the same again. I recorded the final composition with my HDMI monitor recorder. And that's it. I do have a free detailed course on my website. Check that out. The link is in the description below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so proud to share my room tour of my brand new apartment. My desk setup, the kitchen is over there. And I'm not sure if you can see it, my filming setup in the corner. For the next scene, I used exactly the same setup as before. This time I got another room from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Then I added a light on top of my camera and did the same on my virtual camera in Unreal Engine to match the lighting of the scene. Then I took my camera from the tripod and held it as a vlog camera. Again I recorded the final composition with my monitor recorder and that's it. Great show, great show. What's up? Moon, I like you. I like you too. I mean, I really like you. Can you get me some groceries, please? Why do you never understand what I'm saying? For the next scene, I got a 3D model of the Tesla bot from CG Trader. I did the animation in iClone and imported both the model and the animation into Unreal Engine. There I added it to Sequencer. Once it was there, I could play it back while I was talking to the Tesla bot. I put my camera back onto the slider, recorded the final composition with my external monitor. I did this two times, one for the Tesla bot and one for me. But I also rendered out some scenes for the intro that were fully virtual. For the next scene I got this birch forest from Mardu from the Unreal Engine Marketplace and I also got a fire explosion effect. I added a stone to the scene, scaled it down, repositioned it and keyframed the movement of the stone so that it looks that it's been thrown into the forest. I also keyframed the fire explosion effect. In front of the green screen I used my small monitor to find the position of my hand so that I can pretend to throw the stone into the forest. I had to practice the timing a little but at the end of the day I just recorded a everything with my HDMI monitor recorder and that's it. Just for fun I also recorded this fully virtual Unreal Engine scene because I just liked how realistic the forest looked. For the last shot I got a piano bench, covered it with green and light down on it. This time I chose a different setup. I recorded the footage with my iPhone because it was easier to position to shoot from the top. In Unreal Engine I got this downtown CD template. I set the virtual camera zoom to 24mm to match my iPhone footage. Keyframed it so that it moved towards the ground. I imported both shots into DaVinci Resolve. This time I used 3D gear to get rid of the green. Added a shaking camera effect and that's it. You can start creating effects like this if you have a good PC. Unreal Engine is free and you just need a HDMI to USB converter that you can get for $18 on Amazon. Get my free course on my website and I'll show you how. The link is in the description below.